Hello everyone and welcome to Art in Design. My name is Torker and today I'm going to be reviewing the Artist Display 13.3 inch Pro from XP Pen. Very exciting. Let's check it out. All right, now I have to preface this video by saying that XP Pen actually sent over this tablet for me to review, but they did not pay me to say anything specific about the tablet. They just sent over the tablet and asked me to review it. So let's start with the specs. This tablet sports a 13.3 inch 1920 by 1080 fully laminated screen with nearly no parallax, covering 123% of the sRGB color range and 88% of the NTSC color range. From first hand experience, I've got to say that this screen looks really good. The colors are bright, the tablet is compact and solid. This thing feels well built. They seem to have struck a nice balance between price and quality here. If you need an affordable drawing tablet for your PC or Mac that you can just sort of chuck in your bag and carry with you, this thing is probably perfect for that. Now, for those interested in more detailed specs, you can see them on the screen right here. I'm not going to dive too much into detail about this because most of you are probably not interested in that. But based on my research about this tablet and the competitor products, it seems like this is a pretty solid drawing tablet, especially for the price. Now, I think this is going to be an interesting review because my total experience of screen-based drawing tablets are the iPad Pro first generation and the iPad Pro second generation. So the first question might be, well, can we compare this to the iPad? Well, if we go ahead and look at the Apple store right here, just take a look at how much an iPad Pro costs these days. And uh, let's pick an iPad that is a similar size as this screen. It'll be the 12.9 iPad. And you probably don't want to go with the lowest storage. So let's pick one above that. And that would be the 256 gigabytes. And that's uh, $1,149. That's a lot of money. And you don't even get the pencil with this. So let's take a look at how much an artist display 13.3 inch Pro costs. We can see it's $299. And that's with a pen. However, that's really not a fair comparison because, you know, you need a computer to connect this tablet to. You can't just pick it up and... Uh, you know, walk around with it, uh, go on the bus or something like that. You need to connect this to a computer uh, in order for it to work. Okay, so it doesn't really make sense to compare this to an iPad. So let's take a look at it on its own and talk about what it actually feels like to draw, on, what it's actually like to use on a day-to-day -day activity. Well, actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. The response rate is really nice. The pressure sensitivity seems to be on point uh, with around 8,200 levels of pressure sensitivity. It does have tilt support, so if your brush supports it, you can take advantage of that. Uh, some brushes have support, well, others don't. Yeah, from where I'm sitting right now, it's really, really responsive. It's nice. It has pretty much anything that I would want from a device like this. Now, one thing to mention, though, is it did take a bit of a time for me to get used to the fact that this device doesn't have touch capabilities. I'm so used to the gestures on the iPad being able to copy and paste and move around just using the fingers. So it did take a little bit of time to get adjusted to the new workflow. But using this tablet, it's just a matter of pressing buttons and using this scroll wheel over here. Now, I decided to use the scroll wheel to change the size of the brush, but you can bind it to zoom or pretty much anything else you need. And after using this tablet for a few weeks, I completely got used to this workflow and I even started becoming really efficient using it. Now, one side effect of using this tablet compared to the iPad was that my hands felt less strained after using it for a few hours because using the iPad, you have to sort of rely on gestures. So your hand is constantly switching between drawing and sort of doing these gestures, which actually cause a bit of discomfort over time. I mean, it's definitely a different type of workflow, but it does mean that we can now use Windows programs or Mac programs. We're not just limited to iPad apps. And I mean, don't get me wrong, some of the apps on iPad are fantastic, like for example, Procreate, but it's not on the Windows platform, which means that I'm not able to rely on tools like Blender or 3D Studio Max or, you know, like a fractal creation program like Chaotica. I mean, the room for creativity here is absolutely amazing. Being able to work in a 3D environment, importing a fractal image, you know, just seamlessly created on the fly and then composing it all together in Photoshop. You can even do some programming, you know, the sky's the limit using a PC. And this gets me really excited for what I'll be able to do from now on using this tablet. Now, thinking about ways to improve this tablet, I would probably say that um, having smart profiles would have been nice. Like a nicely set up drawing profile for the most used apps like Photoshop or, you know, Krita or Midibang or programs like that. 
Uh, it would be nice if these buttons right here would be pre-programmed or maybe that I could just choose from a specific drawing profile from a you know, famous artist or something like that. That would be nice. Actually, I'm going to link my config file in the description. So if you have this device, you can just download it and start using it right away. So ideally, I would like to connect the tablet, choose the program that I'm going to be using, and these buttons right here would be configured for me, and that would pretty much mean that I'm good to go. Now, the way it is right now, you pretty much have to go into the settings and configure what each of these buttons do. Now, granted, it did make me think about what functions I might use most often, and I decided to place those down at the bottom right here, and then the frequency of use decreases the higher I go. So you'll see me use these buttons right here at the bottom the most often, and then the buttons at the top, I'm going to be using those less often. Now you'll see how I use these buttons later on in the video when I make a drawing using this tablet. Aside from that, I'm really, really trying to find negatives about the tablet. I mean, the cable, you know, it would be nice if it was longer. I had to move the computer a bit further to the right on my desk. I guess that would be nice. But truth be told, I've been really, really happy with it. The configuration app itself could be polished just a little bit. It's just trivial things like uh, the title of this button right here. You don't see the whole title. I mean, that's an easy fix. And yeah, in summary, I've been really, really enjoying using it for the past two or three weeks. It's been quick, snappy. It's laminated screen looks nice. The pen feels nice. And yeah, the only negatives that I have about it is, you know, trivial things that can be easily improved. With regards to the config file, I'll go ahead and export that right now and make it available in the description. So if you decide to pick up this device for yourself, you can download my profile for Photoshop. And if I do make profiles for other programs, I'll make sure to add them as well. Now, I'm going to finish off this video by drawing something in Photoshop, my preferred drawing application. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what programs do you like to draw on on Windows or Mac? And also, if you want me to review any of those programs or create a tutorial for them, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get on with the drawing. Like this video if you liked it, comment down below with your feedback, and share this video with anyone who might be interested. If you want to check out this tablet for yourself, you can check it out in the description. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down